Alright, I kind of want to keep my hands out of the frame today, but they're literally just like this, plugged into this machine. I'll have all these cylindrical etheric devices or astral devices around my fingers. And I'm directly plugged into his, um, his Nadio Complex. Right now he's laughing because of how intense this is. Sorry, I have my headphones in, guys. Um, but I'm, I'm plugged into the etheric template for the central nervous system, so I'm literally hacking into the mainframe of the bioelectromagnetic computer. And I'm, I've basically pulled up a specific program, the Jehovian Seal program, and I've already um, collapsed uh, the structural integrity through, you know, transmitting specific override codes, and now I'm recoding it and, and basically using them um, uh, I don't even really know how to explain it, um, but as like, I don't want to say synthesizers, but regulators of the feminine energy to kind of assist with reintegrating all of that uh, feminine energy that's been isolated uh, from the Jehovian Seals originally. Um, and getting some super fun reactions. So I'm going to go ahead and put my hands down so that I can be more relaxed. Let's go ahead and uh, pull up that program again. The let's pull up the seventh axitonal line program, and let's go ahead and just begin to recode that with uh, eight dimensional frequencies. You see that phenomenon that just occurred? It got really, really blurry, and then he had a release around his, his uh, head area. See that? The seventh axitonal line starts at the top of the left side of the head and goes all the way down the left side of the body as well. What I did right there was I just hit the hip. I'm, I'm working on the hip right now, the left hip. Let's go ahead and send a triadic current of 15th, 12th, and 8th dimensional frequencies to that left hip. And let's also pull out that program, project a holographic uh, projection above my hands, and let's start to recode. That was so simultaneous, that was beautiful. Recode that program. Basically, what it looks like above my hand is like, I can't even really explain it, but um, it's like this tr light of tr a triangle of light that kind of comes out, and at the top of it, this like two dimensional platform or like uh, neon grid almost, it looks like, uh, uh, projects outwardly from that, that focal point, and I can just directly look, connect to it. I can either send energy. Uh, you know, just try, or I can connect with cords, and, and I can even do cool things, like, it's like scanning it, or like, I can't even explain it, it's like imprinting this just light in it, it's so hard to explain, really, this stuff is all so new. Let's go in the head, and target any low pulsating particles in the neurons. Transmit a override code. Recode the cellular matrix of the neurons.
let's go ahead and access um, let's just access both the feminine and masculine uh, circuitries and transmit override codes uh, Christ recoding and a harmonizing code Now what's working more efficiently is when I'm using this, because this hand is basically plugged into the computer. This hand is um, accessing the programs or that grid, and it seems to be working with the, the actual platform of, of that structure. It seems to be much more efficient. What I did right there was I started targeting the heart and really synthesizing that masculine and feminine energies. Let's go ahead and access any reverse fire letters in the axitonal circuitry. Now the fire letters are basically um, an energetic mutation that was superimposed onto this planet several thousands of years ago um, as they work directly with um, the DNA assimilation processes. So this superimposition literally began to reverse our um, everything really. Um, as that's a very essential process in cellular acceleration or biological ascension. So right now we're just overriding any of those distorted programs. It's literally like a computer. And this is how I know this is real, that these, these uh, invading races did come to this